Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how I base coat and contrast these memorial plaques. So typically what I do is I have several tables lined up and I have all these prepped and ready to paint. Typically I'll have about 14 tables and I can load about eight to 10 of these plaques on each one. So in front of me, I have my five gallon bucket of base coat. And if you haven't watched the video on base coating, I highly recommend that you do so. It's important that you have a proper application. And so I'll go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, this is a little wet yet because I typically spray these lightly with water. And I am wearing a mask and safety glasses because I don't like being splatter all over my face. So in case you're wondering, it's also pretty windy out today, but I decided I don't care. I'm gonna do this anyway, so. The water application over the plaques, over any statue for this matter, uh, it just helps to disperse the, the paint evenly in the harder to reach detail. But that's it. And by the time I'm done with these, this will be mostly dry. It'll seep in and then I'll go over it at the end. So, I'll put a little splatter on this one, that's fine. So for this part, this is basically me repeating the cloth technique. Uh, there's a video on cloth technique, and if you're not familiar with that, I'd recommend that you watch that video as well. I go through the three steps on one plaque. Basically, I'm just showing you a little bit of my process with doing multiples at a time. So I have this old shirt here. It's made out of polyester and spandex, which is my preferred material for cloth technique. And in this container here, I have a mixture of my base coat and just white paint. So it's not as thick, of course, as the paint directly from the can, the white but it's like an in-between from the base coat and the paint directly from the can. And it just comes out to be like a lighter gray color. So I dip the material into this container and I'm working in limited space here. And then having that polyester and spandex material I can squeeze the excess off, allow it to soak into the material a bit. I pull this tight over my hand. I hold my hand flat and I just simply wipe it over the plaques. And the reason I do it this way is just to get that lettering to pop out a bit. If I were to go over it with just white, it would look pretty choppy. So you can see the right there. It's just important that you make sure you don't have it pulling up too much into the material. You want to give it time to soak in. just enough to pop the detail out. So this is the second step, and then there's only one more step after this for what I'm going to do today.
It doesn't have to be perfect because the last step pretty much ties it all together. And if you have too much on your material, it's gonna seep into your lettering, which you don't want that. So, always say start out with less, less is more at first until you get the feel for it. particular ones I pay special attention on the lettering just because there's a lot of irregular shape to it and contours and I want it to have more of a marble look so I'm just tapping over it so it collects more around the lettering making it easy to read pretty much where I want these. So for this next step, I have some white paint, it's bare paint exterior, semi-gloss. I dip it onto my brush. I remove some excess by just, I'm using my paint leg, I just brush the excess off. Don't want a lot on it. And at this point, I hold the brush flush up against the plaque and I lightly go over it, just back and forth, letting it collect on the higher detail. And at the end, I'll hold a couple of these up so you can see the effect. And if you find that you add too much white, that's okay. If you decide at the end you want to tone it down a bit, you can literally just dip your brush back into your base coat, get the excess off, and brush back over. It'll tone it down a bit. prefer the bare brand of paint. It is a thicker paint, although PPG brand is good too if you're in the United States. Uh, PPG brand is a bit thinner, but I actually really like both, so either one. And you can do this, of course, with any colors. base coat with whatever color I'm using to contrast. It's just a preferred method.
if you find that you have excess on your brush, you can always go over the edging, and the, which is like, typically I do this last, but you can always get some of the excess off on the edges and then go over the front. on these for the purpose of this video I'm going to go around the edges at the end but not in the video I'll just save that for after I'm going to show you this piece for example. I went quite heavy on the white and I want to tone it down a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the second coat application or you can take your brush and go straight into your base coat. But I find going back into my second application is a little easier to work with. Get the excess off. brush it over the lettering, holding it flush up against the flat. So now I've toned it down. Make sure when you're painting with acrylic paints, which is pretty much all I use, make sure that you're working in an environment that's at least 60 degrees. And if you're working outdoors, I highly suggest that you paint when rain isn't expected for at least 24 hours because you want these to dry properly.
see that weight. I'm just pointing that back down around the line. Yeah, you can still see because I'm basically dry brushing it on with, by holding this brush flush up against the flock, you can still see the white undertones. So it gives it some tone variation. Just do this until the desired effect. And really these don't take much paint at all. On these ones, once they dry, because of the extra detail, I'll let them dry completely. And I'll thin out a little bit of the bare green color and whatever color for flowers. I'll thin it out a little bit, get the excess off on a detail brush, and just dry brush a little color onto the leaves and the flowers. Should give you a pretty good idea. So if you find the video helpful, I suggest that you subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding more videos this year over the summer. Several, I literally have hundreds that I need to get painted and finished. So I'll do my best to get videos uploaded as I have time. And thank you for watching.